What is up guys, Digital Next, and today we're gonna get our knowledge caps, put them on because it's time for another Darn Man lesson. Let's just go ahead and jump right in. Joy, wake up, man. I don't know what it was, but spitballs were probably the funniest thing to me when I was younger. I, hitting someone with the spitball was a true art form, trust me. It, it took very high aim and precision just to get it right, because you know, you, you wad it up and you don't want it like so wet that it's just gross, but you want it wet enough to where like if it hits them, they don't really notice, especially if they're asleep. But oh, true art form, good aim. I give it 10 out of 10 spitballs. Your last quiz, Mr. Benedetti. If you spent more time studying and less time napping during my class, your grades would improve. Yeah. All right, everyone. Stupid. You see what that D means? It means D for don't sleep. If you got an A, that means you would be asleep. See? Knowledge. Go get some. Whatever your last name is. Joey, Joey B. Joey Benedetti, I <clears> hope <throat> to see you before you leave. Everyone else, have a great day. What did your teacher calling you out for? All right, everyone, have a good summer. You guys are all really good, except Joey Benedetti, who lives at 1234 Mocking Lane Road. He's clearly not the smartest tool in the tool shed. Tool, what? He is not the sharpest tool in the tool shed. Why did I say smartest? I'm catching the dumb. It's contagious. If you don't get an A on the final, then you're gonna have to go to summer school and try again. What? You're not taking this class over. It's bad enough the first time around. Hey, lots of kids love my class. Who loves math? Teacher, who are you lying about? Who? <coughs> they probably like you as a teacher. They don't like the class. You know, I'd be like, you know, I don't even want to go to Algebra 1. Tell me what I need Algebra 1 for. Tell me what I need it for. Because I don't want to do it. If you cut corners, then you'll just keep going in circles. <laughs> well, since your grandma said it, it must be true. I'm serious, Joey. If you want to pass my class, then I suggest you get a tutor. Your grandma said it, huh? Yeah, well, does your grandma watch? What's what's that guy? <laughs> what's, does your grandma watch Andrew Tate? Yeah, I don't think she was that smart, huh? I think that's his name. <laughs> Is that his name? I can't remember. Miss Malia is going to fail me if I don't get an A on the final. She wants me to see some tutor. So you're not going to Kim's party because you have to study? Is he wearing a one piece shirt? All right, I know I don't watch One Piece. I, I'm, I'm barely like in the beginning of reading it, but still, I know a One Piece shirt when I see it, and I think that's a One Piece shirt. I don't need to study. I just need to get an A. There's a difference, my friend. How are you gonna get an A without simple? I saw Miss Malia's answer key on her desk. I get a hold of that. I pass pre-algebra. You get to talk to Molly. And we'll all live happily ever after. But I'd be like, okay, little surfer kid. <laughs> <laughs> Little surfer D. Oh, she she left it on her desk, bra. <laughs> all I have to do is get an A, and I'll pass the test, D. <laughs> We're gonna break in tonight and grab the eight turkey, just in time for the party. It's perfect. Our parents know that we're going to the party. We can just say that we're spending the night at each other's no, house. No, 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 no. He gets suspended or expelled. When did he start becoming the voice of reason? If I clearly remember, this kid was all about cheating, stealing, criminal investments. I I don't know. He he, he wasn't the he wasn't the the goodest of noodles. When when did he start becoming you know the the Cub Scout? Well, like my grandma says, high risk, high reward. Your grandma said that? No. But when Mrs. Malia said that her grandma said something, it sounded pretty official, so I thought I'd try it. My grandma didn't say that. She's been in prison, like, my entire life, so I, I don't know what she would say. Probably something like, get me out of here. If I fail, we can't hang this summer. Do you really oh, no. that? Come on, for your best friend. Oh man, we can't hang out. You're telling me that my plans of staying home all summer and playing games is ruined because we can't hang out? Well, you know, gosh darn it. I, I, I see the problemo here. It's a real conundrum that we have on our hands. So you see, I, I don't care enough to, to help you with your problem. Right on schedule. Quick, let's go before anyone sees us. Let me see if I can understand this. 
This is gonna make me sound like a bad guy because I shouldn't be helping you get cheat so easily. So your big idea was that you were gonna come back to the school at night for your teacher's answer sheet that was on her desk when you guys clearly could have, A, waited till she left the room to go to her lunch and then asked the janitor and be like, hey, I left something in the room. Do you mind opening the door for me? I, I gotta go get it. And then you take a photo of it with your phone because we all know you got phones. So you take a photo of it and boom, bam, you're done. No one would be the wiser, all right? Or you go in there with your friend, have your friend distract and be like, hey, can you help me solve this problem? Well, non, while, you know, non-suspiciously looking this way away from your answer sheet. She turns, you go to your thing, you're like, you're like, yeah, that's cool. All right, you solved it, let's go. And then you're out of there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is why I would get away with all this stuff. Let me make a darn man video. I commit the perfect crime, perfect crime. Still in someone's heart. <laughs> wow, so conveniently placed. You're doing it right now! You could have done that it's earlier! Let me get to the party. Let's go. What did I say? High risk, high reward. That was too easy. Shoot. I think we may have a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and get you out of this situation. Next is school declass. Next declassified high school survival guide. All right, this is what you do. You're locked in, right? You call for help. And then when they ask, why were you in the school? You're like, listen, I had left my phone here. I just got my phone back. I had seen the janitor walk out. So I assumed people were still in the building. I went through the front and I got my phone. And when I came back, the door was locked. I don't think I saw the jan I don't think the janitor saw me walk in here. That was my fault for not letting him know. I apologize. I just wanted my phone. I know it's dumb. I could have waited till the next day. I, I, I'm sorry. That's my bad. See, when you take, when you take ownership of doing something wrong and you apologize for it and you're like, listen, that was my fault. I take full responsibility. People will be like, you know what? It's okay, it's fine. You're a kid, get out of here. Well, no harm, no foul. And then there you go, you're out of it. Do you see how good that was? I, oh, everyone was like, whoa, digital, that was good. I would have believed you, I would have let you out. <laughs> That's how easy it would have been. You try the doors through that exit, I'll try the doors through the cafeteria. Okay. This one's locked too. Mm, caveman brain. <laughs> caveman brain, think hard. Oh, take trash can, smash window, leave. Freedom. That's how we get out. If that's the route you want to go, that's the route you want to go. Not the smartest one, but it's the caveman route. All right. I never should have listened to you. You know we're stuck here. Unless you magically find a way to pick a lock. Well, that's it. Oh my gosh. What if Mrs. Malia left a few bobby pins in her office? Crazy. All you have to do is look at YouTube on your phone on how to lock pick a master lock with bobby pins and you're good to go. It's not like you have any place to be. There you go. Thank God you have technology on your side. Twist it. Ew. I'm assuming everyone's seen one too many movies where you think you just stick a bobby pin into a lock, twist it a few times and it opens. I'm sure there's a few more tricks to it, you know? Yeah, everything on TV's real, right? Just like Khaleesi, Mother of Dragons, Breaker of Chain. She's probably a real person too, right? Who let you watch that show? You're not old enough to watch Game of Thrones. Who let you watch Game of Thrones? I, I don't think you should have been watching that show, my guy. Work with me! Hey, come on, just let me try it. Now, I'm no engineer, but I think what you're supposed to do is open it, put the chain inside, and then close it as tight as you can, 
and that should cut the chain link. I, I don't think just hitting it like it's a hammer is gonna do anything, you know? That's just me though. That's just me. Okay, here. This is all the light you should need. What? I'm going up there? I thought you were going up there. Me? You got us into this mess. You think I'm going up there? You see me? I'm Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Christopher Robin, a little bit more honey should help me get unstuck from the vent. <laughs> Hey, I listen, I ain't gonna go get Winnie the Pooh stuck in the, uh, the the vent, okay? You better hop in there. Yeah, you're going. Well, what if I get lost? I can't just breadcrumb out of it like Hansel and Gretel. It's not a maze. Fire hose. Here. You tie this around you, okay? Why is there a fire hose in the teacher's desk? What is this? My dude brought snacks. That's a smart man right there. Yeah, that's what I would have done. I would have brought some snacks in case. Hmm, I need a bit of honey from my belly right about now. You know, you need snacks. Perfect. Look it. It's not a pro. One, I don't know how the principal didn't hear you trying to caveman your way out the front door, right? Nor is she hearing you guys run around the hallways. That That's one oblivious principle. Two, you can be like, you now that you know the principal's there, you can go to her office, be like, hey, we're stuck in here, can you let us out? She'd be like, what are you doing in here? Well, we came in and we had to get our stuff because I left my phone here, my mom was yelling at me, and we figured someone was here, but we ended up getting locked in, and we just want to get out. And there you go, I'm telling you, it would work. Just be very apologetic and, since, and just sad. Someone there? Hello? She hears that. Is the she, you still working? She hears that, but not the front door, just... Oh, okay. Spider! Smart. Smart. <clears throat> Who? Why? Is there a reason you would keep bubble gum right there instead of your pockets? No way, spy family. They didn't have you over here splashing around, knocking everything over. How are you gonna get the vent back up? She can be like, oh, the vent fell. Would not work, do not try. Myth busted. <sighs> Must be those raccoons again. Must be those darn raccoons. They're they're hunting the children for sport. I, I knew we had to get them out of this school. What happened? I almost got eaten by a spider. That's what happened. You're so brave. Thank you for telling me your story. And my dude over here, he just <laughs> filled himself up with his little energy bars that he had. He's like, I can't do anymore. I've been doing all the heavy lifting around here. Now I gotta heavy lift my, my panza out of here. Ooh. Oh, great. Now all of Mrs. Malia's papers are ruined. Great. Out of all the places for me to sit, you know, my desk, your desk, any of the desk, I had to sit on the teacher's table for some odd reason, and she had to leave a drink on her table for some odd reason as well. Well, we officially missed the party, and my only chance to talk to Molly. Wonder what she's doing right now. You've got other things to worry about. You could have talked to her any other time. You could talk to her in school. There's literally a million opportunities for you to talk to her at school. But you know, go off, King. You do you. Because my grandma used to say, the answer you're looking for is usually right in front of you. 
Wait, you're stealing my lines now? No, my grandma actually used to say that. She was looking for her glasses and she'd be like, sometimes it's right in front of you and her glasses would be right in front of her. Grandma's crazy. Always right in front of you. <laughs> That door, the, the door was unlocked this entire time. I thought you checked every door. Well, I'm gonna miss this one. I'd be like, listen, after, after this, I, I don't know if I can be friends with you, man. You, whew, it, it's tough, man. I, I need you to, to smarten up. At last, the finish line. If I have to spend one more minute in this building after today, Oh, scream. Wow, would you look at that? Another chance to talk to her, crazy. Go ahead, use the line from Game of Thrones that a show you shouldn't have been watching. Stop it, put it up. Hey, who did that? I don't know. But I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Thanks. Thanks. You're a hero. I appreciate you. You real stand-up guy. You seem like a cool kid who watches Game of Thrones for some odd reason. I don't know. I'm actually having a graduation party this weekend. If you want to come. Really? Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> What was that? Yeah, I would love to. That's awesome. All my hard work from last week is about to pay off. Hard work? It's not like you did any studying. Don't be mad at me. You could have gotten the answers too. But no, you're too much of a goody two-shoes. So much for Mrs. Malia's grandma's advice. If you cut corners, then you'll be stuck in circles. And if you're not smart, you'll lock yourself in a school, stupid. <laughs> Did you say you had to make a new answer key? Yeah. Raccoons apparently got into the school's ventilation system over the weekend. When I got in Monday morning, there were papers pulled out of my desk and a bunch of food and drink was spilled all over everything. So that means... Summer school. Mr. Benedetti. Crazy, crazy. You did all that just to go back to summer school. F means you're gonna have no friends, zero friends. Crazy how that works, isn't it? All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. Remember, if you liked today's video, make sure to hit that like button and to subscribe and turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or I post a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, you guys.